Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on the best mineral sunscreens that I have found in terms of texture, application, the way that it feels, um, and even ingredients. So I did make a video recently on ingredient safety for sunscreens, so I highly recommend watching that video first um, before this one because it'll just help you get a better understanding of some of the things that I'll say today. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description box below for you to check out. But if you did watch that video and now you're looking for clean formulations, I will be sharing the ones that I'm using personally for my face and for my body. Um, and I'll include a timestamp for that below because I'll share it at the end of the video so you can just skip right to that if that's what you're looking for. But as I did mention in that previous video, I will be sharing really popular sunscreens. Although they contain some of the ingredients that I personally don't love. I know that there's still a lot of people out there who do want to use these sunscreens as they feel really good on the skin. So I will be sharing those with you today. So let's just get right into the video. So first I'm going to be sharing the mattifying sunscreens with you. So this is the Dr. Jart Every Sunday Matte Sunscreen. I really like this one. It has a lighter watery consistency and it blends in super well. It also has a really nice citrus smell because it contains citrus oils. So it does smell really, really good. This is the only one that actually gives you a matte finish without the ingredient silica. Silica is something that's used to give you that really soft, blendable, like, primer kind of complexion, but this does that without using that ingredient. So if that's something that you are looking for, then this does not contain it. So this is also mattifying. The First Aid Beauty is a super weightless liquid mineral sunscreen. So it's like really, really fluid. This is a super lightweight, like almost oil texture, but it is oil free and it does dry extremely quickly. It turns matte and it gives you this almost like, like translucent powder finish. So it's really soft on the skin. It is tinted, but the tint is super minimal. There's like barely any coverage to it. It just blends in really, really nicely but it is fairly close to my skin tone I have read reviews on people with lighter skin tones and darker skin tones and they did say that it just blends in seamlessly so I can't say 100% for sure because I it is close to mine but I did see that it's like barely any kind of tint the next mattifying one is the Tatcha Silken Pore Perfecting Sunscreen. This one is the most expensive one out of everything I've gotten. When I was getting this, my boyfriend was like, is there gold in there? Like $65 for a sunscreen? Um, but you truly do feel like you're putting $65 worth of a sunscreen on your face in terms of like the texture and consistency. It's super luxurious and it smells also like really good. It smells like Korean and Japanese skincare. So if anyone has has tried Korean and Japanese skincare, there's just like this really nice scent. I can't really describe it, but it does smell like that. And so if that's something that you look for in your products, this really smells so good. It applies like a thicker cream, so you are getting that hydration while also getting that matte effect. But there's one thing that I have noticed that I found to be a little bit concerning. Um, I did notice that this one is 15% zinc oxide, but also 5% octisylate. So octisylate is a chemical UV filter. So this one actually contains both filters. And if you did watch my previous video on like sunscreen ingredient safety, then you will know everything that I have to say about chemical filters. But if that's something that's not concerning to you and you are just looking for a really nice feeling luxury, sunscreen then I definitely think this is good um, the Tatcha one does contain silk extract so it really does give you that like soft complexion so just to compare the three mattifying ones the Dr. Jart one is definitely like a lighter waterier cream while this one is a really super lightweight almost oil texture that just dries really quickly and gives you this like powdery matte finish and then the Tatcha one is a more hydrating, thicker cream, but it also gives you that matte complexion. So those are the difference between these three. Moving on to the hydrating sunscreens. So this one is from Biosense. I really, really enjoyed the texture of this one. It felt the most like skincare-like. So if you're looking for a sunscreen that really feels like that last step of your skincare routine, then I think this one is perfect for you. Um, it has a really lightweight, watery texture, and it leaves like the seal of hydration on the skin 
in. And it does contain squalane, which helps to lock in that moisture. And then it also contains water lily, which is really good for calming and cooling the skin against like stress from heat. So those are the key ingredients in this one. I did really like the texture of it. The next hydrating one is from Purito. This is the Comfy Water Sunblock SPF 50. So this texture is very, very similar to the Biosense one in that it's super hydrating, it's lightweight and watery, but it's more simple. It doesn't contain like those key skincare ingredients. It's actually half the cost of the Biosense one. So the textures are very similar. It's just that this contains more um, like skincare like benefits, whereas this is a little more simple. Before I move on to the ones that I'm using, um, I did want to just quickly go over all of the ones that I did just show you. So all of these do contain ingredients that I'm not 100% familiar with, um, but I, what I do know is that these two, the Dr. Jar and the Purito, don't contain that phenoxyethanol. Um, and I did talk a lot about that in my first video on ingredient safety, so if you're interested in that, it's linked below in the description. However, they are formulated with water as the main ingredient, so it must have some kind of preservative in it, I'm just not sure what it is. And then the rest of these do contain phenoxyethanol. However, I did mention in that video, it's all safe percentages, it's just whether you're comfortable with it or not and then now moving on to the ones that I'm personally using I absolutely love these sunscreens they are the cleanest formulations and they have like the best ingredients and I just love them so much I am using Carrie Grant's facial SPF and Badger's body SPF both of these have really minimal ingredients my face one only has nine ingredients and the body one only has five and they are both oil based so they don't require that chemical preservative to preserve that water base that most sunscreens have because bacteria cannot grow in this oil formulation so it really both of them use vitamin E as a natural preservative so I really like that about it talking about the face one first this is a Cary Grant essential SPF 28 I love it um, it smells like green tea it just smells so good and it blends in so nicely it doesn't really leave that white cast at all it is an oil base so it won't give you like that greasy oily film it really just feels like hydrated moisturized like soft skin but I am personally somebody who has used oil serums in the past and oils as moisturizers and I love using oils um, so I'm used to this texture I really like it but I think a common misconception is that oilier skin types can't use oil but that's not true your skin is actually producing more oil because it lacks it so actually using oils as moisturizers and um, oil-based products will actually help you in the long run to produce less oil I said oil like 10 times but I think that it leaves your skin so soft and it does really go away like after maybe like six five six minutes it does sink in it's just not gonna sink in right away like some of these water stuff it's gonna take time but I personally feel like that just like locks in my moisture and it feels really good um, it gives me like a really nice glow so all of the oils in this have like really good skincare benefits so just to give you a few for example it has red raspberry seed oil which is really potent in anti antioxidants and anti-inflammatory and then it has um, French plum seed oil which is really good for moisturizing and it contains macadamia nut seed oil which is like really high in healthy omega fatty acids which will help you moisturize and soften your skin so those are just some of the examples there's only nine ingredients in this and they all sound like that and you know all of them I feel like I can't stress enough how much I love that when I look at natural skincare or like plant-based skincare that I recognize everything in there. I love that. I feel like I know exactly what each ingredient is doing and what exactly is in there and I feel so confident with that. Um, so I really do like this for my face. And then next is the body one. So I've been using the Badger body sunscreen. This is a sport version. So this is the one I use when I go to the beach or when I'm hiking. This is only has five ingredients. So this has 22.5% zinc oxide, which is the mineral UV filter, and then it contains sunflower seed oil, beeswax, jojoba seed oil, and sunflower vitamin E. So five ingredients, literally you know all of them that are in here. This I noticed is really thick. So it's a lot thicker than like 
most sunscreens but it really compared to how thick it is it does not give you that white cast something I found to be really helpful is to use body oil or body moisturizer before applying this then it'll help smooth it out and then this actually helps to like lock in that moisturization so I did notice that if you're using body oil, you want to wait for that to completely sink in before applying this because you don't want to dilute the SPF, but that really does help spread this out really nicely. One thing to note though about this one is that because it is waterproof, it's going to give you kind of like this film um, so that it could repel against water. It really does sink in after a couple minutes, but it will initially give you like this thicker film because it is waterproof. Um, I can't say it doesn't do that for the other ones that aren't waterproof but um, it does go away so I do really like this and it works really really well I wore it to the beach the other day and I did not get burned that's it those are all the sunscreens that I have for you guys today please let me know if you have any questions leave it in the comments below or feel free to DM me if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't done so and don't forget to click the bell so that you don't miss out on any future uploads thank you guys always for watching and I will see you